Chapter 2 Don't blame the scarecrow for being creepy. It's sort of its whole job. Jody struck tugged at the webs surrounded her. She wasn't completely stuck, but the webs were slowing her down, and the oncoming spiders that nearly didn't have the same problem. They skittered over the sea, webbing at full speed. Someone do something, Boss Po. I must look delicious right now. There's no time to escape, Ash said. We need to fight. Morgan held up a sword. They they were going coming get us, so we better be ready to hit them when they get close, he said. If if you turn your swing right, you'll be okay. Don't miss, don't miss, Jodie muttered under her breath. She held her sword up like a baseball bat. She waited for the spider to come closer, closer. She swung! The sword knocked the spider backwards and it recovered quickly, but it, it pounced at her once more. But Jodie was ready. A second hit was enough to destroy it. The spider flopped onto its back and disappeared in the pixels. It should, we, we should play more baseball, Jodie said. Don't let your guard down, Huff said. There are more spiders where that came from. We wanted spiders, said Jodie, readying her sword again. We got spiders. Be careful for what you wish for, said Poe. Ne- as he was the next one to move in for the attack. When the spider fell, Jodie and the others turned their attention to the cobwebs. Using their swords, they hacked a path through the sticky set strands they, until they were all free. Ash picked up the strings left behind. Harper was around to collect the loot that had been dropped by the spiders. Beautiful, said Harper. I was just hoping for a spider eye or two, but these are, there are at least ten here. So, you have everything you need for your potions? Jodie asked. More than I need, said Harper. Between these and blaze powder, the librarians left for us were in good shape. Let's head back. I remember the way Ash and Jody always impressed me. It was just one many towns Ash honoured. Ash led them out of the woods over the hill towards a small broky structure in the distance. Home sweet home, said Morgan. It's not much of a home, said Jody, who made a face. The bunker is just so basic, plain, a grey cube with a single door, and no windows. She had always wanted to make a pyramid or a llama-shaped tower, but the groups had asked her not to spend all of her materials on a temporary shelter. It was a simple place to store their beds, crafting tables and materials, while they got ready for the next mission. Spawn point, sweet spawn point, they said with a sigh. There was one artistic addition that Jodie had insisted on, though. She saw it now, they got closer. A blocky human-shaped figure watched over in the distance. He had a body of hay, a wooden face, limbs, and a carved pumpkin for a head. Jody named her new friend, Scarecrow Joe. Hi, Joe, said Poe, as they waved to him. Scarecrow, of course, did nothing. I don't think he likes me that much, Poe said. She giggled. Harper got right to work. She waited to the cauldron. And then the spider rice are the last ingredient. Now I can finally make these potions. And when will they be ready? I don't know if they'll ever be ready in time to face the bug thing Harper shrugged. But after this, we'll have everything on your list. Morgan hopped down with excitement. He, he had drawn up a wish list of items. Potions, arrows, diamond armor, and enchanted swords. Those were all the things that he could help them on their mission. Ash put a hand on Harper's shoulder. We can do this, Harper. Remember what the librarian said? She told us that, that if we find the source of the Evoker King's power at the heart of the world called Zero Zero. Ash pointed at their map. We're close, and we've been praying for days. If you're not ready now, we will never be. You're not ready, said a voice. Joe looked around. There wasn't their imagination. Over there, the Scarecrow. Scarecrow Joe, she said. Not Joe, said Morgan. She drew a sword. It's the Evoker King. The scarecrow's eyes lit up. It turned its head and looked at them and chuckled. That's impossible, Ash mad. But Jody knew it was the impossible. It was often possible in Minecraft if you got creative enough. And while the Evoker King wasn't exactly the creative type, he seemed to be really good at breaking the rules. Put your weapons away, said the Evoker King. I'm not here to fight you. I'm here to help. Yeah, right, said Poe. He put his sword, he didn't put his sword away, neither did anyone else. The path towards is full of danger, he said, the king. 
the item that you seek deep beneath the ground, locked away within a dungeon. You have no hope of reaching it. The dungeon is more than you can handle. You have no idea what we can handle, said Ash. We're not afraid of your dungeon. And we're not afraid of you, said Morgan. This is your final warning, said the king. Turn back before it's too late. And with that, Scarecrow burst into flames. Jodie flinched from the fire. Joe, she cried. That guy's the worst person. He's not really a guy, said Harper. He was trying to scare us, said Ash. That means he's scared, said Morgan. You know what? We're close to defeating him. Jodie squinted it to the flames. Do you hear the book, King? She shook her blocky fist in defence. We're coming for you, you creep.